All right, we're up on the Vargas roof. Um, and I've been inside, and from what I gather from the homeowner, um, the leak is probably around 12 foot um, from the end there down to right about here uh, where the transition is from the shingles down to the flat. Now you'll see some nails there. Now that's because I pulled a few nails out when I was investigating. Uh, basically what I did was I looked underneath. Um, I found moisture. I found moisture all up through here. And if you have a leak near a transition, it, it's normally coming in at the transition or higher. Um, in this case, I'm pretty sure it's going to be coming in around this corner um, because they have no flashing on it and it's only caught. Now what they did was they just went over a, a cedar shake roof on this particular roof and if you look there's not even any metal underneath. Um, I don't see any metal underneath the second roof either. Um, it's probably all under that uh, wood shake. So they've got it's like two layers of shingles over wood shake. And I am correct. Um, looks like they're using the same flashing they did when they applied the uh, wood shake roof. Um, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. We'll find out right here. Now here's the second roof. Um, if you could see, this is where the shingles end. Now there is no uh, flashing material. Um, I don't even see flashing under the wood shake, but it had to have it. Um, I'm not going to keep digging. Um, there's only so far you can go with something like this. Uh, but basically that's the problem. They used no new flashing when they did the uh, re-roof or re-shingle, shingle over, as they like to call it up here. They did do metal valleys, though. It's not really anything great or extraordinary. Um, they also have a leak on this chimney. And we'll take a look at this chimney. Ooh. It's kind of high up. Don't want to fall from here. Um, basically, what I see is counter flashing. Um, it doesn't look terrible. There's a small ledge there. Um, it doesn't look bad. I'll recalk all this. Looks like they used something called Vulcan, which is a very terrible caulk. It turned out to be garbage. Um, probably need to take the back of that off as well. What I suspect. Well, what I suspected would be this brickwork and maybe this uh, uh, stucco, as you want to call it. Um, but I really don't see a whole lot of evidence that it's done. Well, it's broken off. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that's going to be the, the case because it's soaking wet back there. It's soaking wet. So they're going to have to seal that or something. Um, I'll do my part as far as, uh, you know, resealing the uh, counter flashing. Um, but other than that, they'll probably need to get somebody up here to seal this off. All right.